BBC Radio Manchester. Make a difference. So here we are with the final hour. Who's making a difference and how um, you really have been making a difference. Daniela Sicari is an Australian-British soprano. She's based here in Manchester. And on Sunday, she put on a live online concert uh, to raise money for Sound Up Arts. They're, they're an amazing organisation. What they do is they bring music and art to care homes uh, and to people living with dementia. And, and the, the efficacy, efficacy of music to those with dementia and the change it makes is incredible. Daniela is here to chat all about it. Daniela, good afternoon. Hi, Mike. Thanks so much for having me. Oh, great. To, really, genuinely great to have you on the programme. Do, do you, when you, you see the, the difference with people with dementia, the difference in music and how it affects them and how it changes their, their whole outlook, how do you feel about that? Yeah, it's amazing. The the thing um, with music is it has such an effect on people. Um, and so uh, all of a sudden you see a lot of response. Um, you see uh, a lot of engagement. Um, being involved with like participatory music and singing in particular brings such a host of benefits to people living with dementia. So you see an increase of communication, social connection, a lot of confidence, um, and also things like identity and selfhood, which are all such a positive thing um, and uh, such a valuable impact on well-being. How did the concert go? Yeah, it went really well. So the fundraiser happened on, uh, it live streamed via Facebook on, um, on the artist page. And we, we've just hit over 3,000 views, which is great. Um, we have a goal at the moment for the fundraiser, which is a thousand pounds. And we've just gotten over halfway today. So we've just gotten to 692 pounds. So we're, we're slowly getting there. Um, but the video itself is now going to stay up online. So it's going to be there for a few weeks so that people can catch up and watch when it's most convenient for them. Um, but this also means that we have a bit more time to reach our goal. Um, and the actual concert itself is going to be sent to the carers and the care homes that we would usually be sending our um, sound up artists to visit. Daniela, I hope you don't mind me saying this, but you have the most lovely mixture of Oz and a tiny bit of mank in your accent now. Oh, really? <laughs> well, my mum's from... Well, she's not from Manchester, but she is from the north, so maybe I get a bit of the, a northern twang from her. <laughs> Tell us a bit about you and y your music. Yeah, so I, I studied at the Royal Northern College of Music. That's actually the reason why I moved to England. I moved here about four and a half years ago now, um, and I did my master's. Uh, I did my master's in opera and classical music, um, and then since graduating, I've stayed in Manchester and I've been working for a few different uh, opera companies and festivals uh, around the UK. Um, and as well as that, I also like delving into a bit of jazz. I sing a bit of jazz with a with a group in Manchester, um, and uh, a bit of music theatre as well. So the, the concert itself actually has a bit of a variety, some music theatre, a bit of opera, and a bit of jazz too. I've been asking every single performer that's been on the programme, and we tend to have performers on virtually every day. What's it been like for somebody who performs, and the whole sort of the whole raising debtor of what you do is to get in front of an audience to not be able to do that for four months? What's that been like? Yeah, it's been quite strange. You know, um, we we are so trained to be working towards the next thing and we're also trained to you know have an audience and be um you know you get quite uh quite a lot of feedback from an audience when you're performing too so we've all had to kind of um learn as we're going along during this time and you know needing to create your own motivation to be learning music and um as well as that you know uh uh, remembering that that it is just on pause at the moment and so having things like this you know like a live stream or, or a concert like this has been really great actually to have something to you know you wake up in the morning and you think 
okay, I get to share music with people in a few weeks, so I'm going to get up and, and practice and make sure that I have something great to share with them. Well, we had the, uh, the a comedy venue on with us earlier in the programme, and they're part of the pilot for future live theatre performances. Uh, and, of course, outdoor festivals, uh, they look like now, the, la- the ones that are still around for this year, they're going to go ahead. What's next for you, mm. performance-wise, that you've got in the diary? Um, well, so uh, this concert just finished on Sunday um, and then the next thing is I'm actually going down south next week and going to be a part of the Water Perry Opera Festival uh, mini festival that they're putting on this year. So it's it's an outdoor event, um, which will be really great because it's, uh, I mean, I guess you have to be very creative um, in times like this. So uh, they're really um, uh, lucky to be able to have a venue where they can do an outdoor space, um, outdoor performance. Uh, so yeah, that, that's in August. Well, Daniela, wish you all the very best and well done with your online and let's hope you make you £1,000. You take care. Thank you very much. Cheers, Mike. Cheers. Thanks very much. 